The Premier borrowed some star power to kick off her final week of campaigning before Saturday's state election. The former Prime Minister John Howard hit the hustings with Gladys Berejiklian as the coalition ramped up its attacks on Labor's preference deal with the shooters. But the attack on Labor has also seen the government accused of political opportunism and rank hypocrisy. More from state political reporter Sarah Gerrithy. In the old heartland of Howard's battlers, it seems the former Prime Minister's still a hit. John Howard joined the Premier to press the flesh in Penrith, where Minister Stuart Ayres will be fighting to hold on to his seat on Saturday. Stuart, your hard-working local member, Stuart Ayres. Oh, I didn't recognise you, sorry. <laughs> the government came bearing a sweetener for commuters, a promise to cut the weekly Opal fare cap from $63 to 50 but a day after starring in Liberal Party ads attacking Labor's preference deal with the shooters, John Howard was still pushing the message. Now I'm just saying that if Labor were to win with the help of the shooters, the shooters would demand a relaxation of our gun laws. Now that's in their platform. There's nothing inflammatory about that. Michael Daly vehemently denies it. I'm telling you, if you want a change in the gun laws, don't talk to Michael Daly, talk to the hand, because you won't be getting it. Mr Howard's involvement has the shooters seeing red and accusing the Liberals of crass opportunism after the Christchurch massacre. This coming from a Premier whose party has made an art form out of dog whistling to racist white supremacists, especially the most skilled artist of them all, John Howard. The ads featuring John Howard were meant to be rolled out on Friday, but in the wake of the Christchurch shootings, the Liberal Party held off for two days before putting them out last night. Today, the Premier denies her party is trying to politically exploit the attacks. Our position on this matter has been clear for years. The opposition says it's a bit rich for the Premier to criticise deals with the shooters. When, for the last eight years, they've relied on their votes in the upper house, to get almost every piece of legislation through, including, might I add, to make duck hunting easier, to make shooting in national parks available. We owe them nothing. The stoush over preferences rained on the opposition's parade in Goulburn, where it was announcing $250 million for small country hospitals. But the fact Michael Daly spent one of the last days of the campaign there shows Labor thinks it has a chance of snatching the seat on Saturday. Sarah Gerrithy, ABC News.